What's up guys, now you know that Google Chrome is available on iOS for the iPad and the iPhone. Now the question is whether or not it stacks up to Safari speed wise because of course Google cannot use the Nitro JavaScript engine that Safari can utilize. So there's obviously gonna be some sort of difference in speed but whether or not that translates to a real world difference is what we're after in this test right now. So I've cleared the cache for Safari as you just saw and I'm gonna go ahead and clear everything out for Google Chrome just like I did now. And we're gonna load up a website or a few websites at the exact same time and see whether we notice any huge differences between the two. Now granted, I am running Google Chrome on an iPhone 4S and I'm running Safari on an iPhone 4. So there may be a little difference there as far as speed but it shouldn't be anything just major. All right, so you saw that I download blog loaded it up faster on the Google Chrome iPhone 4S and the Safari iPhone 4. Uh, I was a little lagging behind there as you saw. So even if you compensate for the extra speed of the iPhone 4S, you can see that Google Chrome doesn't lag that much behind uh, Safari, even if it was on the faster or we swapped versions, you wouldn't see that big of a difference, I don't think. And here it is again, folks. See how quickly that loaded up? Let's try CNN.com. Go and CNN's loaded already on the iPhone 4S with Google Chrome, the iPhone 4, uh, right behind it, not too far behind. All right, let's try ESPN now. Go. And ESPN is done on the iPhone 4S with Google Chrome. On the iPhone 4, it's done now as well. So like I say, you're not gonna see anything major, at least from these tests here. In a real world scenario where you're just browsing your, your random websites, I don't think you're gonna notice anything just absolutely just that will make you wanna go back to Safari if you're a Google Chrome user. Now let me just be the first to say that this is not scientific by any stretch of the imagination, but you do get a good indication as to what you will expect just on your average run of the mill usage. So let's try Wall Street Journal now. And we're gonna go, and this has been known to take a while on both Safari and Chrome. So Safari is now loaded up, Chrome's already there and it's still working with some advertisements it appears okay and both devices are still working it looks like google chrome is finished now and safari is uh, finished now so what do you think guys is google chrome that much slower that you'll refuse to use it well let me know what you think in the comment section this is jeff with the i download blog